Hello, welcome back to Rotor and Pixel. In today's video, we're diving into drone performance and loading, part 107 test preparation. You'll have 35 questions and eight seconds to choose the correct answer. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to Rotor and Pixel so you never miss any quizzes. Ready? Let's get started. Under part 107, the maximum takeoff weight for an SUAS is, Answer B, 55 pounds, 25 kilograms. Adding payload generally does what to performance? Answer B, reduces climb, shortens flight time, increases stopping distance. Why is center of gravity CG critical on SUAS? Answer B, out of limits, CG degrades stability slash control and can cause loss of control. A far forward CG typically makes the aircraft. Answer A, more stable, but harder to flare, stop. Higher stall margin needed. An aft CG typically makes the aircraft. Answer A, less stable, more pitch sensitive, harder to recover from stalls. Load factor in a 60 degree bank is about. Answer C, 3.0 G. As load factor increases, stall speed. Answer B, increases by square root of G. What environmental combo most degrades performance? Answer B, hot, high, and humid, high density altitude. High density altitude means the air is Answer A. Less dense. Props produce less thrust. Motors work harder. On a hot day at a high elevation field, expect... Answer B. Shorter flight time. Sluggish climb hover. A tailwind during return to home planning is risky because... Answer B, you likely launched into a headwind and may lack battery to return. Best practice for payload attachment is to Answer B, use manufacturer approved mounts, check security and CG before flight. Dropping a payload in flight will shift CG and weight. Answer A, suddenly, be ready for pitch slash altitude changes. Cold temperatures affect LiPo batteries by. Answer A, reducing available capacity slash voltage. Warm slash condition before flight. Over discharging LiPo packs can Answer B, cause permanent damage or failure. 
Propeller damage, Nick's imbalance, can cause Answer B. Vibration, inefficiency, motor stress, potential failure. The part 107 maximum ground speed is Answer A. In 87 knots, 100 miles per hour. Heavier takeoff weight mainly impacts. Answer A. Climb hover power required in stopping distance. Before flight, a performance check should include Answer B. Weather wind, density altitude, aircraft condition, payload securement, RTH plan. Settling with power, vortex ring risk increases during... Answer A. Steep vertical power descents with little forward airspeed. To avoid vortex ring state, descend. Answer B. Shallow with forward motion, manage descent rate. A headwind on takeoff shosh climb will generally... Answer A. Improve climb and control margin. Humidity's effect on performance is... Answer B. Slightly reduces performance by lowering air density. IMU slash compass calibration should be done after. Answer B. Hard landings slash repairs are when prompted. Away from magnetic interference. The most accurate method to validate safe flight time under load is to... Answer B. Conduct a test flight under similar conditions and monitor voltage percent. Which action best protects performance on hot days? Answer B. Reduce payload. Limit aggressive maneuvers. Shorten legs. Add cooldown. A gimbal-mounted camera added far forward most likely requires... Answer A, battery slash ballast repositioning aft to keep CG in limits. After firmware updates or repairs, you should. Answer B, run a full function check, motors, controls, RTH, obstacle sensors. With crosswinds, your ground track versus heading will. Answer, B, differ. Expect crab angle and higher power draw. If motors are running near maximum to hover, answer, B, you have little power margin. Avoid gusty high D, A operations. What increases kinetic energy and risk most in a mishap? Answer B, higher mass and higher speed. 
Manufacturer weight slash CG limits are. Answer B, operational limits. Exceeding them can be unsafe illegal. When using ND filters or lens accessories, you should Answer B. Reverify CG and gimbal calibration. Watch for motor sharp gimbal overload warnings. Launching from a moving vehicle or boat under Part 107 is. Answer A3. Prohibited for S UAS unless over water and not from a moving vehicle on land. Before high altitude mountain flights, you should Answer B, check field elevation, temperature, wind slash DA, plan shorter legs and higher power needs. Nice work, pilots. How did you score? Share your results in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep sharpening your drone knowledge with rotor and pixel. Until next time, fly smart, stay safe, and keep learning.